Hi guys, it's Raven from Wicked Little Reborns again, and I'm just in the middle of changing, um, changing little, little Maverick, changing his nappy. Um, we went to the Ipswich show on the weekend and we had an amazing time. We didn't have a lot of spending money, like the babies only have a little bit of pocket money, but we did manage to get some really super cute, cool stuff uh, that we're really, really happy with. Wolfie got this circus lion. Mummy had to buy that though because he didn't quite have enough um, pocket money for him, but he really had to have him. Um, there was this one guy who had an amazing stall. He was up on the stage and he had so many cool vintage stuff. So we got this puppy as well. And this puppy will be appearing on Wolfie's new little channel, Wolfie's Kingdom. Uh, we haven't named her as yet, so we're going. We're, we're currently finding some names for her, aren't we, Wolfie? Cyril, what are you doing? Cyril the snake. Auntie Silver gave us um, Cecil Silver. Ah, Cecil the snake. So he'll be appearing on Wolfie's channel as well. The other thing that we got was as well, and Hubert has this. Who remembers these? Oh my God, flashback, hey. Showing my age here. I had one, my sisters had them. Um, for those that are un unsure of what they are, it's a little musical toy that hangs up in a cot and um, it plays music and puts Bubby to sleep. Um, it's been really good for Maverick, settles him down at night. Um, Pubert, he doesn't tend to like it. He prefers more mummy's music, which is metal. But these are just, it's so cool. Isn't that awesome? I was going to take it out of its packet and hang it up in my, in their, just above their crib in their nursery. But it's such a cute little package. Isn't that gorgeous? I love vintage stuff, I really do. Um, and my husband was like, oh, it's collectible, you shouldn't take it out of its packet. Mr. Star Wars. Look at all of his collection there. That's just like that much of his Star Wars collection. Um, I might show you some one day. But anyway, so we've left it in the packet. We can still display it in the nursery anyway. Now, <sighs> Did you guys see the Miracle Babies stall or stalls? A whole row. So Auntie Annette had a massive stall. Hey, Wolfie. So it was a stall jam-packed of everything you would possibly need for reborning. So great for an artist, great for us mums, um, great for anyone with any interest, has great starters packs. And one of the things that I really, really loved is she was selling these amazing little flannelette pajamas and I'm about to put these these on Maverick at the moment. So I got the little bumblebees in blue because Maverick's a boy and blue suits him. My friend who bought a tink from um, another artist, um, she got these ones. So there's lots of different designs and colours and I thought that was super cute because in winter I love my flannelette pyjamas. So I'm going to put them on Maverick right now and you guys can watch. So little Maverick, oh you're going to sleep little buddy. You're going to wake up so mummy can put your little nappy on. So Maverick's got a, a tummy plate. I just love, love leaving his tummy plate on. I never take it off. I went to a lot of effort to paint it and I love it. And I love just pulling pants down just so you can see his little belly button. Which way around does this go? Yeah. There we go. So other stalls at the show as well. I mean, there was stalls that had um, antique dolls. Um, there were a lot of reborns there. Um, there was not much in the way of fantasy reborns. Most of them were babies. I didn't have a stall this time because um, it's gotten quite expensive to have a stall there. And, um, yeah, I, it's just not viable for me to um, spend that sort of money on a stall. Um, 
But there were, uh, there was an amazing lady who was just beside us. I think she was Coco Nursery or something like that. Her babies were just to die for. Um, Sheila Henderson was there with Oz Dolly, Dolly of uh, Reborn Dolls as well. Her dolls were beautiful. Um, there were some um, other artists there selling their dolls as well. Bree was there. I can't remember what your nursery is, Bree, but you can post below. Um, my friend bought one of Bree's dolls. Um, yeah, and there was just, just so much there in the way of reborning. Um, unfortunately, no, nothing in the way of um, fantasy reborn dolls, but um, maybe later this year I'll have a store there. We'll see. Because um, quite often I don't have anything for sale anyway, so it's really not viable for me to pay for a store when I've got nothing to sell because they all sell out before I even list them. Um, also, there were stalls that had clothing. Um, so clothing for any type of doll. So if you collect other dolls, not just reborns, um, you could go there and get um, clothing for uh, like your pedigrees. Um, what are you doing? Isn't it? Oh, it makes it so difficult when you're trying to put sleeves on a, on a baby and your hands go like this and it makes it so hard to put them on. Um, so yeah, you had all that sort of thing. Uh, there was, there's a lady also up on the stage. Um, her, she's Granny's Antiques or something like that. But she, or if you love your antique dolls, oh my God, she's got some amazing stuff there as well. Toowoomba Teddies, as usual, were there. Um, love, I love, I love Charlie Bears. And they, they have this massive stall of Charlie Bears. It's so cool. So here's Maverick in his little pajamas. Oh my God, so cute. So cute. So Maverick is, um, he's a twin A from memory. So these jammies fit his size so well. I've, and it has different sizes as well. So there's there's larger pajamas and there's the smaller ones as well. But oh my God, so cute. So, so cute. Thank you so much, Auntie Annette. These are amazing. Now, the other thing Annette um, sells on her stall too are these bibs. So this, this I actually got um, at dinner on the Friday night, but she does sell these. And again, I mean, she, she does sell things for um, reasonable prices. But I love this because it's just the right size for these little wee ones. Um, you know how you go to like, you know, your shops and you buy bibs, but they're always a little bit large. Um, this is the perfect size for the little newborn um, reborns. So isn't that gorgeous? So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. We love you. Um, join us on Patreon where uh, we have a lot more comp content that isn't released to the public. Um, you can also go on mentorship programs if you're um, an artist um, and I will mentor you. You just have to send me the questions. Um, there's giveaways every month. Um, we, um, we have little packages as you go up the tier where you get special little things. There's merchandise as well, collector's cards coming. So what's wrong, buddy? Do you want to come have Oh, you want to come and see everybody. Uh, this is pubert everybody so yeah so join us on patreon we're also on instagram and obviously on facebook as well thank you for your support on youtube i'm loving how we're getting lots of likes and subscribers bye everyone love you Mwah. bye say bye everybody